Right, so just come down here this morning to have a quick look at what I done last night. Um, we did a second layer of filler there over the uh, dents, and just wait for that to dry. Sanded that back, and put some filler primer over the top, which is like a thicker primer, which is supposed to fill in some imperfections. I've um, done a bit of work here as well, where basically it was cuffed in the side once. Um, I've pretty much smoothed that out best I can. Um, you're probably wondering why we're spe why I'm spending so much time around these back two corners, but really that's the main damage on the whole car, like the rest of it is actually quite straight, or well, the door wasn't but I've changed that um, and the bonnet wasn't and I've changed that too so, um, so I'm just trying to get these dents out really before and then I can go over the whole car so um, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up but you can see we're back to our original body line there, there's a slight high um, just up through there which I still need to try and take out, hopefully I'll be able to um, in fact, that one there is, just, is actually filler, so that will definitely come out, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, around the other side, this is the really where the major damage was. Um, it was really since um, a bit of an incident at FCS last year, um, which dented this rear quarter right in with a crease right down through. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with how well we've managed to get that out really considering um, I certainly haven't ever really done any body work before so this is just sort of learn as we go here um, so yeah um, what's happening here and Darren? Um, you probably don't really want to know to be honest I'm just failing basically doing a bit of a fiberglass job here boys so obviously the paintbrush is the ideal steering device oh no engine oil contamination Oh. oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> nice. Right, could you just bring those extra bits of fiberglass? What we're doing is we're um, attempting to smooth over these holes. And, um, apparently I've already applied um, one piece. One of the... Can I see it? Probably not from there, but it's going to be here. Okay, I'm just... In there, that one there is actually fiberglass over. Oh fuck. There we go. So that's a secondary layer. Well, we'll, we'll put, a, put two layers on and then we'll give it a poke after a bit. And see if it's a... Oh, she's got one Cady Wampus on, mate. Okay, so as you saw a minute ago, We've been uh, doing a bit of fiberglassing. The idea is we're hopefully going to try and smooth out these rub strips, or actually not the not the contour line here, but the actual holes that hold the uh, rub strips on. So rather than just filling it up with filler, I've put some fiberglass sheet behind, uh, which is hopefully going to then support the filler. Um, I'm not really sure. We're not I'd, like body work is really a novelty. Like this whole thing really is all a bit new to me. <laughs> so <laughs> it's. You can see I've just literally layered fiberglass sheet all over this side of the door. I've got no idea if this is what you're supposed to do, but I would think it's going to work. It seems to go very hard, so I think it'll be okay. So we'll give that overnight to go rock hard, and then we'll um, skim some filler. It's literally just the, the holes, so it, it's, it's nothing really to fill. Um, and then just go over some filler primer and hopefully... Hopefully you just feather everything in and you won't notice them, but I'm sure it won't be as easy as that. I can speed the process up. Um, this rear end here is pretty much done. Um, I, don't, I can't really remember if I filmed before, but there was a huge dent in this back quarter. Um, there was an incident at a car show once um, with a frisbee, but we won't go there. So yeah, I've, we pulled it out with the slide hammer. I think we did do some video of that and I filled that. Also go around the back, fill those ridges in. What the fuck was Chris fucking set fire to? It's stinking. And there's a dent in this quarter as well. Got that one smoothed. There's some issues here. Um, I'd like to say I've got it smoothed, but what I've really done is smoothed it to the best of my ability. It's not anything like perfect, but better than it was. I've got rid of the, mas the nasty kinks and stuff, but you're never going to get that right unless you're you're into your body work, so that's that. I've um, been doing a bit of filler priming and some filler on the roof where the aerial has been smashing the shit out of the roof for the last three years. <laughs> so that's gone off. I 
Um, so yeah, that's what's kicking off there. Um, right, I've just rubbed it down with some uh, tack rag things here to uh, get rid of the dust and the shite. Uh, so I'm going to mix up some filler now. Um, it's amazing when you start rubbing your hand over the bodywork how many imperfections you feel, even though you can't see anything wrong with it. Um, so you can see I've just filled a few small areas here. Um, actually that there isn't filler that there, that's just where I've sanded back a bit of a scratch. Um, see there's another one there, which you can actually see that one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to come in here with some filler now. Can't really see, but basically it's fiberglassed all behind all these holes. Which I'm hoping is going to support the filler and prevent the filler from sinking and looking shit. But it might not, who knows. Now, you can see I've got some filler applied to that door there now. Um, so I'll give that time set off now and then we'll see if we can sand it back and see what's going on. They all seem to be bulging a little bit. I'm a little bit worried that I've kind of trapped air. Do you know